witches are magical girls. So here we go. <laughs> Earwig. I saw this one advertised as a Studio Ghibli movie, which blew me away because this stuff is 3D now, and that's crazy. Importantly, this isn't a Hayao Miyazaki directed film, who directed 99% of everything else you think of when you see this company logo. No, this one was from his son. Goro Miyazaki. Seeing a different director and a different art style than what I was used to made me very curious if this movie was going to stand up next to the other Ghibli classics. And I'm glad to say, it is fun. Not like, amazing, but it's very fun. <laughs> it's a cute, simple little story about this little girl, Earwig, who gets dropped off from her seemingly magical mother at an orphanage for currently unknown reasons. Understanding that the name Earwig is just a little bit weird for a growing girl, they decide to call her Erica instead. And Erica owns. When she says she wants something, she gets it. She wants something different for dinner, she's getting it. She wants to play a weird little game with everyone involved, she's going to do it. She gets everything she wants and finds her role as the proverbial queen of the orphanage as the best case scenario for her. Until she gets adopted, that is. Yes, this ugly lady and this tall creepy dude adopt Erica, who quickly discovers her new family consists of a witch and a, um, demon? I think. Erica hates it because she hates having to actually do chores on her own rather than just telling the others to do it for her. And then shenanigans ensue. Like all Ghibli movies, just good old shenanigans. <laughs> this movie is definitely fun. It helps that Erica, Bella Yaga, and Mandrake are all very unique characters with interesting interactions. The 3D animation was a little jarring at first, especially since their mouths have better animations, it's a lot harder for dubs to lip sync to them without it looking a little off. A normal family would be even worse. I'd only have two or three people to do exactly as I want. And it was a bit distracting at first, but I got used to it sooner or later. The 3D really impressed me by having incredibly stretchy and fun facial expressions. They definitely played around a lot with utilizing the 3D world of this movie to its best abilities. You really get a strong sense of how this house works this way. And having it be 3D means they really got to go ham with designing all the little details in all the different places, because Ghibli is known for having really, really intricately detailed backgrounds. This keeps up that concept, and I think 3D elevated it in a way by helping it feel like a real world. I'm really excited. If this is the direction Studio Ghibli is going, then I am excited to see them do more with 3D, because I think they can go even more bigger and have a lot more fun with it. However, while I do like this movie a lot, and I think it is a lot of fun, it's painfully too short. It almost feels like this was supposed to be the pilot episode to a full series. Erica doesn't really learn a lesson, and the finale kind of comes out of nowhere. I was actually kind of shocked when the end credits started rolling, because I didn't realize I had just watched the climax of the story, and it kind of leaves us off at something of a cliffhanger. Now, wanting there to be more to a story isn't a bad thing, but if you watch this movie, you might feel like the story is a little too too simple or gets cut a little short. Which, you know, could be a good thing in the long run. Maybe that means we could start to see some sequels or something. I don't know. I like this world. I like these characters. I do want to see more. The biggest detriment to this movie is that I didn't get to see more in this runtime. The simplicity of the story works for me. I do highly recommend this movie, but keep your expectations in check. Earwig is a wacky adventure about a girl discovering music and magic with her new family. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then I highly recommend it. Shout out to my $10 patrons, you're all amazing. Nako, Michael, Cool Duck, Andrew, Ramiel, Valhalla Knight, Chamomile, G Extreme, Classic Critic, Surge, Taj, Boulder Off Bros, Noah Perkins, Sunny Shy, Great Bar, Caleb Grimm, Pentimenta, Genital War Thunder, Carmen, Order, Vortex, Jake, Sarah's Van, Mookie, and Amber. 